All right, we're back. The uh, package finally arrived. I ordered the uh, the OBD12 uh, from Battery Minder. And what's different about this unit than all the other units that I looked at, matter of fact, this is the only unit um, that I saw from any manufacturer that was this, I guess, design. So this one's on board and what it is supposed to do is it is uh, supposed to operate there's the model number it is supposed to operate or uh, desulfate um, from the vehicle alternator while you're driving so um, you have these units that you plug into AC power when you're uh, parked and you can use the uh, alligator clips to uh, hook it up to your battery and you can charge your uh, batteries and, and desulfate the batteries while you're at home. Well, this particular unit, um, it is designed to take your 14 volt input DC and whatever whatever engineering they've done or whatever design inside circuitry it's supposed to do your high frequency random pulses into the batteries from your 14 uh, volt DC input and so then when you get to the house, you can plug in to your existing battery minder and uh, it will continue to um, charge, maintain the battery. Now my, one thing I'm curious about, um, well, first of all, the setup. So when I bought these batteries, these are dual terminals. So I use the factory side post and then I added the uh, top post, right? I bought the dual battery, dual post battery, so I could use, utilize the top post for other things. So um, this one in particular, I have some cables run down here to a uh, jump starter. All I do is plug in my uh, cables. I don't have to pop the hood. And so over here, I was thinking about using the terminals, but uh, these two plastic, uh, cases right here like this little clip it is use this under this height adapter under the battery if necessary so um, if you have if you need a taller battery for your mounting purpose like if you have a bracket that goes over the top you would uh, use this underneath the battery well I I like to save things in case I get to take these batteries back so I have two of these and uh, they actually clip into the battery and they're real secure yeah, buddy. Um, yeah, in a minute. I'm going to finish what I'm doing here. I'm actually doing the... Uh... No, I'm actually trying to make a video. I was going to post a video about the, the thing that I just installed. So, yeah, I'll measure. How tall do you think you are? Mom said he's only a head taller. Noah's a head taller than you? No. Mom. Oh, mom. Is mom shrinking or are you growing? I think I'm growing. You're growing? Yeah, we'll definitely measure you. All right, buddy. Um, so anyways, these, these little plastic adapters, they clip into the side. And so when I first saw it, I'm like, you know what? That, uh, that little battery minder comes with two little mounting holes. And they're not that great. You know, if you put a screw in there, it'd probably wind up breaking off. It comes with um, Velcro or like a, you know, Velcro on the battery minder and then a sticker that you can put on something else if you wanted to velcro it so when i saw this cutout you know it had these on both sides so i i figured i would double stack them they were already sitting there on my you know to, to store them but i figured if I, the height was pretty much the same height as that uh as those two plastic adapters that if i cut that out that little x i could fit this in there and then my mind started racing and I figured I could uh, epoxy the whole thing. And so it was like a solid piece. And then, you know, the battery minder would kind of just fit in 
and then I realized, you know what, I just got to get it done. So there's actually no, you know, it's just in there and the pressure from these little uh, strain relief um, on the cable, on the wire, is actually kind of keeping it from side to side. And then cut a little hole right there so that the thing comes out. And then if I can unplug it. So this right here has a little cap and then I can just tuck that out of the way and what I'll eventually do um, is run one of those extensions from this type of uh, SAE two prong uh, cable and I'll run an extension down to where you know maybe somewhere down here where I could just when I get home plug into it plug into it I mean I don't know where I'm going to put it, but that way I don't have to pop the hood. And so uh, I came across another YouTube video from an older gentleman that uh, is, looks like he just started making videos, and he actually did something very similar. He installed the, the battery minder that would normally mount into your garage, and then instead of using the alligator clips he hardwired it with the eyelets and he did a really clean install where you know that unit that he mounted requires ac power to to operate so what he did is in his lower part of his uh, truck like i think he's got like a dodge that has uh, those big plastic bumpers he um what do you call it? Uh, he mounted the the actual AC plug so that all he does is run an extension cord to the front of his truck. He's got a block heater on one side and he's got the uh, battery minder on the other. And so it was kind of funny that this was in the mail on its way and he posted a video of installing the other version of this. So I'm not sure which one's better. I mean, it'll be interesting. One thing I noticed, this unit here, when you're um, let's see, I could probably fire it up. Um, I'm kind of rambling now. So right now, if you press this, you got uh, poor, fair, and good. So the battery shows good. When I start the vehicle, it'll, uh... Yeah, headphone users are gonna hate me on that one. So anyways, when uh, the vehicle's running, this thing starts flashing that it's uh, desulfating. And then I had my kid shut the, uh, the truck off and this thing kept flashing for at least 10, 15 seconds while that, uh, while that uh, terminal voltage is probably up around, you know, 14.7. And then at some point that thing turns off and, uh, when I plugged in uh, this little guy, it took probably 10, 15 minutes for it to actually go into desulfating mode. And my only question or curiosity now is which unit, the one that is plugged into the wall, or so the uh, 12117 shows that it's uh, pl plugged in and that it's uh, charging. And it took probably a few minutes for this thing to actually come up to voltage. You know, it's steadily climbing. And I think it got to 11.3 when I was cranking. So it's at 12.97 right now and I, And then as that thing climbs up, gets above 13, it'll eventually start flashing. And uh, so now my only curiosity is, the is the wall unit just a power supply? 
and when this starts desulfating, is this the one that's doing the desulfating? Or is the frequency from here doing the desulfating? I called Battery Minder and nobody answered. It was that uh, they forwarded all their phone calls to a uh, call service. So a little bit frustrating right now, these times where people are not willing to go to work. So anyways, um, I will kind of, uh, I think I'll do another video once I get the, the extension made. And there's a couple of companies I've been looking at that, uh, that make those adapters, you know, like a bulkhead adapter. And, um, and then I won't have to pop the hood anymore unless I want to press the button and look at some lights. So anyways, that was the install. And I'm going to mention, I don't know the guy's name, but uh, I'm going to put a link to his other video um, in the description. So the three guys that watch my videos can go watch his. <laughs> All right, guys, you have a good one.